So now what we're going to do is we're going to make all the other three pieces. So what we need to do first off is delete this back side here. So we're going to go to face select mode. We're going to delete this face. Hit X for deleting and we'll delete just the face. Um, actually, oops, Apple Z that. We're going to X and delete the vertices and that way it'll take care of the other faces that we don't want either. All right, then we're going to switch. We're going to hit go tab. And we're going to go into object mode. Okay. Um, actually, we're going to want to um, UV wrap this first, and then we're going to make the other sides. So um, let's switch this default. Let's go into, um, actually, before we do that, let's go to the materials tab over here with, um, let's go into object mode. With the materials tab selected, we're going to go into face textures. And that way when we start adding UV maps, they'll show up. Um, then we go over to default here, we'll go to UV editing. And here we can select, go into edit mode. Um, and we have face select selected. And select this big face here, and we'll go U for unwrap, and then we'll image, open image, and I have two, I have boards pine, and then I have plywood, so we're gonna use plywood for the uh, center piece there. Open that image, and we're just gonna scale that down just a little bit. All right, and let's see what that, Let's uh, let's grab our camera here. And let's go there. There we go. Let's grab it on the z-axis. Bring it down. Rotate that on the z-axis. Like so, grab it on the x. Over. Rotate that on the Y. Oops, X. So we can kind of get a better, better shot at what we're, what we're looking at here. All right, and let's go to, 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 to render image. And of course, there's no light. So let's take that. And let's actually duplicate that. So Shift D will duplicate it. And I can bring that down just so we can get light on all sides of this thing. And then render that out. Okay, so we can see right there we have a good piece of plywood coming through. And that's what we want. Um, we're going to have to clean up these corners here. Um, and what those are is overlapping. So you have this is meeting up with this one and we're gonna have to choose like which one we want to show and which one we don't so all right let's take these um, so we have this front face here selected let's unwrap that so unwrap and image open image and we'll go to our boards pine and here we can zoom out too much. All right, and we can scale this down a little bit and we can move that to where we want it. All right, so now if we go into render image, we can see that there's actually the, the board showing up. So now we just got to do it for all the other ones as well. And we're going to have to do it for the inside corners too. Um, but those won't matter quite as much. Um, we can kind of just do a quick one for those. Unwrap that. And we'll go forward spine. Rotate that 90 degrees. Scale down a little bit. Grab it. Throw it there. And then unwrap that. Let's pine, scale 
down, grab that, boom. Um, no, I don't remember which ones I've done. Okay, so, yeah. All right, so unwrap that. And go pine boards. Rotate that 90. Scale it down, grab that. Sorry, uh, scale is S, G is for grab, um, and R is for rotate. Um, so take this, U for unwrap, click that. Go click on this little picture, the boards that you already imported. S to scale that down a little bit, G to grab it. And try not to pick the same exact spot in each one and try to have them different sizes, just so it, it mixes it up a little bit. It's kind of uh, it's kind of nice that way. So you know, there's different pieces of the board. You know, they're not perfectly lined up exactly the same. Maybe even like flip it around, rotate it the other way. Um, you know, just so it you know it mixes it up a little bit and it's not so uniform. Um, these boards, I actually just took a picture of them with my iPhone and then emailed it to myself. Um, so, I mean, you can, I mean, the plywood I got um, off of a website, it was a, a free download. Uh, so, yeah, you can you can get this stuff pretty much anywhere. I mean, you literally just have to go out, take a picture of something, and, you know, you can make your meshes with that. So, completely free and easy to use. So, let's take the bottom um, pieces here, and we're going to grab them on the Y. And we're going to move them negative 0 0.001. All right, enter, and then render that out. And there you go. Takes care of your little ghosting issue. Okay, now we can do all these little pieces in there that are being an issue. So grab that. Um, yeah, I guess it's best to. To do them separately, it I don't know. It doesn't really matter. You could probably group them all together. I'm gonna do them separately, just because um, it'll have a better result. Um, I'm using the same method that I've been using the whole time. Um, not doing anything special, really. Just click on unwrap and then selecting the picture, scaling it to what I want it to be, grabbing it and moving it to where it needs to go. All right. And then this bottom bottom pieces as well. Scale that, grab it, done. Unwrap that. Boards, rotate, scale, grab. There we go. Wrap that. Scale. I might scale that too much. All right. Okay. So we render that out now, and you can see that there's there's actually green in here and in here now too. Um, we still haven't done the sides yet. We just done the top and the the bottom, which we can't see with this camera angle. All right, so now let's do the sides. So we'll grab that, unwrap, rotate that ninety, grab it, boom. And I'd strongly suggest if you're going to be doing any um, any editing work, you know, video-wise or you know, 3D stuff or anything like that, to get a keyboard that has a numpad. Um, I'm using a Mac, and it originally came with one that didn't have a numpad, and it was very strenuous to do any type of um, video editing or 3D stuff. It was just it was kind of awful. So, 
keep that in mind. Um, and if you have a laptop that doesn't have a numpad, you can get um, USB numpads. And I would suggest um, getting one of those because they're just they're just really handy. Uh, so yeah, that's done there. Okay, so it's done all those. But you can see a little bit up top here and there where you're getting that overlapping meshing again. Um, so what we're going to do with that is we're going to take this top one and we're going to grab that on the Z axis and we're going to go point zero zero one and now I render that out you can see that it's flush up top and I'll, I'll move the camera around later so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Actually, last time I moved the camera everything just got messed up but let's go zero well, here, grab the camera, move it over here, or rotate on the Y, on the Z, sorry, rotate on the Z axis, and then we should be able to see that, that side. So you can see right there that there's just some weird, weird looking ends and that's just the overlap so what we're going to do is we're going to oops that was a little too much we're going to select that and we're going to grab that on the x-axis and that's going to go out 0 0.001 and now when we render it that's gone and it's just a nice flush panel all right so we're just that's what we're doing with all of all of these so that we're just going to grab on the y axis or sorry on the z axis because it's up and down uh oops that started spinning so grab that on the z axis we'll bring it down 0 0.001 negative and this side over here on the left we will Grab that on the x axis. That'll go negative 0 0.001 as well. Alrighty. So that should be all set. So zoom out a little bit. Actually, there. We should be able to go into. Oh, texture isn't going to work, but rendered should work, and we should be able to go all the way around this, and well, where there's no light, we can't tell, but um, where there is light, we can see that it is rendering properly. If you found this tutorial useful, uh, leave a comment in the comment area below, and subscribe to our YouTube page.